Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you live from Whistler. You can see the beautiful mountains in the background there. This is an exciting video. Uh, it's been a little while, but I've been waiting to finally get here to test out my brand new 2023 downhill bike. This is behind me, right here. You've seen it before. The Raw Yala downhill bike. 29 front wheel, 650B rear wheel. Supposed to have 29 front and rear, but we don't have that right now. But yeah, I've actually only had one ride on it. I'm super interested to try it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test everything out, talk about it a little bit if I can, and um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, before we get stuck into the video, make sure you give it a like. This video is an absolute banger. I'm excited to share this with you. I wanted to get here to really fully put the bike through the ultimate test, downhill tracks, fast stuff, rough, bike parky trails and also off-piste, big drops, senders. Um, so yeah, we're going in the deep end straight away, see what this bike is capable of, see what it can do. I don't know, can it like withstand everything? Who knows? Uh, it's been a while since I've had a proper downhill bike, so um, we're gonna rock with this one. And yeah, if we need to make any changes, then we'll make them um, as needed along the way. But yeah, very excited for this one, Whistler Bike Park. Here we go. God, it's windy. You go down the piece, and then you go up the slab. Yep, and then we ride along the ridge. Yeah. And then there's one little rock that you pop off. Well, kind of like, I could just stop right there. Yeah. Straight in the deep end. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. My God. That's insane. Right here. Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, first run, I might just ease into it. <laughs> this one here? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. I think first run in, it's just a bit like, yeah, right. <laughs> New bike. That was uh, quite terrifying. First run in. Whoa! These holes are absolute. Yo! Yeah, so the bike, first couple of runs in that you've just seen, just warming up to it. Uh, feels pretty natural, definitely got a higher front end than maybe what I would like, so I might lower it a tad. Um, and then yeah, we're just riding the downhill stuff today really, so quite a flowy trail this. Little uh, left hander. Yeah, the bike is like sticks to the ground like glue, man. Like the traction, whoo! Max going out wide. That's why he went inside. Yeah, it's just getting used to what it's capable of and uh, the stump here. Go into delayed, oh, delayed fuse. Whoa, that is rowdy. Suspension feels so good. And I'm still setting it up. Too soft, maybe. 
dropping in on new insomnia. Some big jumps or decent sized ones. See Matt already getting. Oh, yeah, he's right. Jesus, overshot it. Yeah, I massively overshot it. Oh yeah, nice. You wanna go smack it? Uh, <laughs> we might as well, we're right here. Let's go look at it. Yeah, have a look. Do you even pull off it? You don't really have, have to. I Maybe feel like I'd off. be quite happy to plop off that. Yeah. <laughs> like. Well, before we started, like right there. Oh yeah. But now, that, and then just watch this. Yeah. Because your tire might slide a bit. Do you go there? You don't come like. Oh, I suppose that. I kind of I try to, but your tires might slide. It's oh yeah. Now because it was scraped. Yeah. You. This thing is big though. This is the ultimate test for my new downhill bike. Really. Damn things I do for you guys. From way up there, all the way down. See the preparation to stuff like this is it's all all in the head. Gotta be confident that you're gonna do it. Up, roll in, little pop. Yo! Oh, it's chill. Fuck yeah. Nice. Into a little meat down hill track. Brand new. You! Gotta get my pump on. Ooh. Oh, the boys are gonna love this shit. Ben, Ben, and Tommy. Oh, oh honestly, it's the nicest downhill bike I've rode. Oh, oh, oh. Go really slow down this. Right. It's a big roll. Big roll, apparently. That was steep. <laughs> Almost went a bit too fast. Gap. A little gap. Woo oh, those holes are huge. Freight train. Whoa. That is seriously blown out. So I was just saying there that I feel like my suspension is maybe a bit too fast. So we'll get a feeling for it on these jumps. Might have to slow it down a little bit. Let's go it easy. Woo. Uh, can maybe do it, slowing it down a little bit. Yo, Matt. Hell, Cresta. Putting the new downhill bike through all the pieces. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, the downhill bike's getting all the. Wow, okay. Gap! Yo! Oh, Ben's gonna love this shit. Hell yeah. Like I said, the bike is going through all the tests today. Gotta to cover everything, and I think it's been well worth the wait to get to Whistler to do it than doing it at home. Gonna warm up. 
I've got quite a bit of time here, so we'll get to that at some point, but wow. Right, so no better way to drop into something than this on oh on your first shot on a downhill bike. Whoa. Hell yeah. That was spicy. So big as well. And to talk about this bike, it is so good. Even that is so tech. I can't do that. So gnarly. These dudes are another bloody level. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 180, 118, 130. 132 might see if the rubber rings a little bit better and that's all we're doing to the bike change wise yo we will do this one in the next video we'll break it down doesn't look like much but it's a hiker bike as you can see max going for it oh Big hop, yo, yeah boy, this is what it looks like from lower down. Oh. Nice pickup by Max and another pickup. Ooh. He's got the lines dialed here, transfer over, jump. Side. Woo. Pump the fork up to uh, 130 psi from like 125, I think. Whoa! I can try to find a line on that rock. It's tough. Two. Yo. Easy. Oh. Man, first runs in are just scary on these tracks, especially following locals. Whoa. That's tight. Slippy rock. Oh yeah. The trail I do not ride. Right. Oh man, oh I've seen this. I feel like my ankle wouldn't thank me for this. I saw someone jumped into this the other day. Yeah, flow ride. Yeah, that would ruin my ankle today. Yeah! Hell yeah. Chill. Hell yeah. Buddy. So we just wrapped up that feature with Max. We're gonna do that another time, 100%. First day and I feel like I've already went in the deep end testing the, the raw out to the max. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? 
I've only had to do up the mount bolt so far. Everything else has been tight. Suspension's running mint. As you can see, the rubber ring is not as high because I put 10, five or 10 PSI, can't remember, in the fork to give it a little bit more support and did a couple clips of compression, couple clicks of compression, but other than that, it's running like an absolute dream. Love it. And the 155 cranks feel amazing. Better clearance, more clearance, not hitting my pedals off anything. Such a sick bike. Oh, wow. Boy, the tire hit me in the ass. Little end out. Cheeky inside. Oh. Jump. Oh, the bike and the donut stuff is so good. This is proper gnar. What? <laughs> Big root. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, yo. Oh, my God. Oh, transfer. Thanks, dude. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God. This is the bottom of Canadian open, I think. So, we're back from riding. Honestly, quite the day, I'll tell you, quite the day. Impressions of the Raw Yala are a 10 out of 10. I made one change throughout the day. I added more PSI in the fork and upped the compression a little bit because I was going through the travel too quick on some of those compressions. But other than that, the bike is so, so nice. Uh, the way that it sticks to the ground is incredible. Like the traction that I can get. Uh, it's quiet as well, which is very important to me. Riding a quiet bike lets me in my head be like, oh, everything's smooth, I'm riding smooth. Uh, tires were great. Wheels were great. I'm not running any Kush Core for the first time in my MV wheels. And today was quite a confidence builder for that. I always felt like I needed extra support, extra cushion, protection for the rim, but Envy have their own rim strip technology. So uh, first day on that went really well. Uh, brakes incredible the Hayes Dominion honestly like no brake fade nothing uh, suspension by JTEC was amazing I'm running with it at the moment it's only one day in but I'm very uh, happy with how it's performing as the bike feels underneath me it feels a great fit it's a size large uh, it is supposed to be a 29 front and rear but I'm running 29 front 60 to be rear and it actually handles really well not sure what that does to the Geo I'd imagine it drops to BB um, which then I can guess favors cornering and traction. Um, running the 155 cranks for the first time on downhill tracks. And I do feel a little bit of a difference. I feel I can get half cranks in better and quicker. I'm not striking my pedals as much. So it's a positive. Um, but the general sizing and the feel of the bike is what I'm after. I would confidently say that it's the 
nicest feeling and most comfortable downhill bike I've ever rode. Um, I've not rode a downhill bike in a while, so I feel like me saying that, I'm quite confident in saying that it's the most comfortable and best downhill bike I've ever rode. I did ride downhill bikes back in the day, but they were really old and like 26 inch and 27 and a half inch front and rear. So it's just an updated, um, much more modern downhill bike this. And uh, apart from one issue, tightening the brake mount came loose, which isn't really a surprise, but um, just have to keep, keep on top of that. Hit some gnarly features for my first day riding. Honestly, like I said at the start of the video, give the video a like if you've not already, because I did all that for you guys, for the entertainment. I was nervous. But what better way to kind of get thrown into the deep end and ride a brand new downhill bike like that for the first time on some proper gnarly terrain. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, comment below, let me know your thoughts. Um, what do you want to see next? And if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button or you can tap in the corner somewhere here and we will see you in the next video. I've got some friends coming out here. It's going to be a sick time. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.